Today, I'm asking you to look at your life and ask yourself this question. Are you living or are you simply existing? If you're enjoying the subject of these vlogs, I suggest you check out my blog where these ideas are covered at greater length. Uh, it's on isaacdaviddiggs.com. I have a morning routine. I go out into the yard and I sip my coffee and I just watch and listen to the birds. I leave my phone inside because I know I'll get in, sucked into social media and the news, which is always just seemingly getting more outrageous and bombastic. In the past, when I was working um, in the morning, I'd rush through drinking my coffee and everything. So it's a conscious effort to kind of slow down and, and just kind of focus on nature because I believe in that strongly and having a, you know, a connection with nature, even if it's just going out into your yard and watching birds. Let's address the question again. Are you living or simply existing? Is this life, the one you're leading right now, one you choose out of free will, or do you feel like it's been forced on you? But Isaac, life isn't about enjoyment. It's about meeting responsibilities and obligations. Why? Why do we accept that? This is your one and only life, and it's falling behind you day by day. When I first asked myself this question, it was roughly eight years ago, and I was stuck in traffic in Portland, rush hour traffic, and I just started thinking about it and going, is this life really making me happy? My then wife and I, we both were working hard. We had decent jobs and we were just getting deeper and deeper into the dead hole. Um, every check was crucial and it was stressful. And that stress was part of the reason why our marriage eventually imploded. And we lost everything except debt. Debt never goes away. The transformation from existing to living can be overwhelming if you just take it as one huge monolithic chunk. So break it down into small steps. An example would be coffee. A lot of people I know, on their way to work, they pick up coffee. And let's say that's $3 a time. So $15 a week, $60 a month. Now $60 isn't gonna make or break you, but it's just an example of one small step to take. One small step at a time. You know, I get it. We all face obligations from our family, from our friends, coworkers, where you're supposed to be, this concept of success. You know, where's your 401k plan? You know, the thing is, you don't have to accept it. What you should do, what I would suggest you do, is what I call the visualization exercise. And set it five years in the future. Write it like a little story, like where you see yourself living and what you see yourself doing day to day. You know, it's strangely calming. And once you do that, you know, set it five years in the future, because I believe you can make just about any change in five years. You can work through anything. Look at it and break it down in little pieces. How do I go from here to there? This is your one and only life. And I would seriously recommend figuring out how to live it and not just endure it.